In this tutorial, I wanted to spend a couple of minutes talking about recommended pivot tables in Microsoft Excel. So let's just say you opened a new set of data and you don't know exactly what to make of it or exactly how to interpret or analyze it. So one great way that you can get started with data that you're not necessarily familiar with is to use the recommended pivot table feature. To do this, highlight the data that you want to do some analysis on, click on insert. And then from here under the tables group on the left, you can click on recommended pivot tables. So click on recommended pivot tables. And here you will get some basic pivot tables that you can insert. Depending on your data, there might be more or less. Um, but as you can see, for example, I can see form and sum of yield or form and sum of retail price is a couple examples that I can use to get started. And of course, if I don't like any of these, I can insert a blank pivot table or I can also adjust the source data that is used um, to generate the pivot table. Let's just say I click on this pivot table right here, click OK. And now I have a basic pivot table that shows the form and the sum of the yield. And of course, I can adjust this in any way, shape, or form that I want to. So I might want to see not just form, but also see fruit, for example. Or it might not want it to be the sum of the yield, but I might want it to be the average of the yield, for example. But that said, you know, it's nothing crazy, but using our kinds of pivot tables can help you get started getting a look at your data and make some quick summaries of what you're looking at too. Hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.